All right guys, so I'm gonna be showing you the black levels of the TCL R635. So first up, we're gonna show you the screensaver that's going to loop anytime there's not really anything happening on your TV, obviously, because it's a screensaver. Okay, so we're going to just go right here. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna go preview current screensaver, right? Anybody can do this on the TCL R635, by the way, right? Immediately, you're going to see this mini LED TV light up like the 4th of July. It's pretty bad, and this should show you exactly what I always say. They're trying to hide flaws. Now, I'll open up my ISO here so you can see how it looks on my end. That's about what it looks on my end as I'm looking at it. Every little TCL logo, every single small bright highlight is lighting up like the 4th of July exactly like I predicted it would in my risk assessment video. I kind of figured that the, the native contrast would be lower on the 55 inch. And so even though they're marketing this as a mini LED TV, you can clearly see the local dimming algorithm having problems. Now, this is proof that my panel is not defective. Why? Because notice how the areas of the screen that are not in use are completely black and uniform. This means that the local dimming algorithm is hunting for bright areas to brighten up. Now, Hisense does this and TCL is doing this, though TCL is looking really, really, really bad right now. And I don't think I've seen a TV as bad as this right now. Like, honestly, when you get it, it will be way worse if you try it out. And I'm not necessarily warning you against buying this TV. Maybe they can patch this down the road. I'm not trying to give them an unfair shake. But what I am telling you is there's something very ugly about the black levels so far. And this is just internally something anyone with this television can test in real time. Now, some people like to say that it's unfair or make excuses. And I'm just going to point this out. Every single time a TV fails on this channel in any metric, it's always me having the bad panel. What are the odds that the Sony X900H, the X950H, the, T, uh, the Samsung Q60T, and literally every other TV I've ever said had a problem was just me having a bad panel? I'm starting to make a clear correlation between the pattern of behavior between people just not wanting to hear the truth and the information I'm giving. Because at the end of the day, reviewers are not going to show you this. Like the mainstream paid reviewers that are there to market the product, they don't show this kind of stuff off because they don't get their commission attached to the bottom of their description page. At the end of the day, you won't find any affiliate links attached to this video because I'm trying to help you. So please do not get mad at me because I'm showing you TCL's quality control. Lodge those complaints with TCL and get them to fix it, okay? Because I'm doing you a favor. It's 650 bucks, and honestly, there is a better option so far that I'm seeing, and that is the Hisense right now. No, I'm not sponsored by Hisense. You can buy whatever you want, honestly, but this is not looking pretty, right? You guys are seeing every little light trail. And this is something that is, again, gonna be very, very noticeable in real content as you have helicopters fly in the sky and movies like you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows, or you have campfire scenes, or more realistically for a lot of you people watching foreign shows, you're gonna have subtitles. This is going to be a problem. It is not something that just because it's raining logos that it's just a, a kind of a test pattern and it's not real world usage. Trust me when I tell you, it's gonna be something that you're gonna pick up on more and more. And when you factor in the banding that we saw earlier in those ugly colors out of the box, unless you know how to dial this thing in, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So honestly speaking, I'm literally just trying to put this stuff out here so you guys know what you're getting yourself into. I'm gonna show both the good and the bad, but honestly speaking right now, I am not impressed with this TV. I want to be. I was actually pretty excited. They said mini LED. And you know, mini LED is supposed to replace full array local dimming because of these tiny LEDs, right? And every reviewer will give you the technical explanation. But when the Q825 had the same exact result with blooming, clouding, ugly nonsense, people told me I had a bad panel. Well, now the TCL R635 has the same exact thing I had last year on their even more premium set. So what is the excuse again? I have a bad panel. It is always gonna be, well, I don't have that. My black bars are this. And you know, I, I, I hear a lot of people making a lot of claims I do. And if you actually have a good TV that's buttoned up, good for you, man. But honestly speaking, that's not everyone's experience. And I'm gonna be buying TVs and showing what the average consumer will be able to pick up. This is a retail model. This is not a cherry picked review model. And this is it. 
So at the very least, we can confirm TCL has a quality control. And for $650, you're gambling essentially for what you're getting in picture quality so far that I noticed. Now, again, I will break this thing apart more, but I'm not impressed. Thanks so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. This is how the black levels perform so far. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.